Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. As you know, I use solar panels at my homestead and in my life all the time. They're a wonderful asset, but one of the downsides of them is that at night they don't provide any power at all. Until now, I've been doing a lot of research online and I found a really simple and easy way of getting solar panels to essentially produce power 24 hours a day. Uh, if you think about it, even then in the nighttime, there are lots of stars in the sky, which are millions and millions of suns, uh, you know, far away, it's possible to capture a lot of that energy, not as much as during the day, but quite a bit of that energy, even in the middle of the night with no moon, you can get a lot of energy coming through your solar panels. And I'm going to show you a simple way of uh, it's it creating a wash that goes over your solar panels that allows them to capture this interstellar energy. So uh, I've got my uh, ingredient list right here and I'm going to do it in uh, ratios. When I got this list uh, it was, it, you know, they talked about like so many pounds of this, so many pounds of that, but I, I kind of did the math and I broke it down into like uh, so many parts. So we're going to do it in parts and I'm just going to make a small batch right here uh, with you guys right now. Uh, I'm using, as my part, I'm using a tablespoon. Uh, so I have, it starts off with 10 parts water. So that's 10 tablespoons. Uh, one thing that's actually really critical is that when you do the mixing of this, uh, it's highly recommended that you, you really thoroughly mix it. I would highly recommend using a tornado machine for all your blending. So why don't we start? River's going to be doing the measuring. So we need one quarter part sugar. So I have a half tablespoon, so half of a half would be a quarter. So let's get a half of a tablespoon, or half of a half of that. All right, that's good, so put that in. Yep, right in. Uh, the next dry ingredient that you're going to need is some salt. And I've got salt right here. It, uh, it doesn't seem to matter whether it's iodized or whether it is, uh, you know, without iodine. Either one is going to be fine. Make sure we get all that sugar off. Yeah, it's sticking to it. Yeah, sure, sugar can be kind of sticky. There we go. And for salt, you also need one quarter part salt. So, yeah, let's do a half of that. Okay, and put that in. No, 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 in here. All right. Uh, the last dry ingredient that we have, that looks good, is baking powder. All right, and this needs one half part. So we're gonna do uh, the whole thing. We're gonna fill it up nice and level. That looks pretty good, so put that in. Okay, so it's a quarter part sugar, a quarter part salt, and a half part baking powder. So now we'll do the liquid ingredients. We can set that one down. And uh, the first one is 10 parts water. So why don't we use this and we're gonna need 10 tablespoons of water in here. Now obviously if you had a lot of solar panels, you're not gonna be wanting to work with a tablespoon. You'd wanna probably work with cups. Yeah, you can just throw them in one at a time really quickly and count them off, make sure we don't lose track. That's one. Uh, you could. Uh, use you know you know cups or you know gallons or liters or, or whatever um you you know think would be a, a good amount so two and let's get three we're starting to see a little bit of a reaction here so there's definitely some science going on there's something very scientific occurring here is that five six seven nine and one more okay so the next wet ingredient that we need is a little bit of vinegar. One part vinegar. Okay. It's getting bigger. I know. As you can see, more science happening here. So this is something real and official. There's actual science going on. We're going to need some olive oil. Uh, canola oil also can work, but you can't use grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is completely ineffective. Olive oil or canola oil are the only two that work. And we need one eighth part of this. So that is going to be just a quarter of this. I'm, I'm going to fill this up and then do you want to dump it in? Right there. Oh, right. it's bubbly. Yep, yeah. We don't have a complete uh, integration of the oil yet. That's why you have the tornado machine. It helps out with that. I'm just going to pour in the last ingredient, which is some dish soap. I'm going to be using Castile-based dish soap. Uh, wait, don't let it drip on the... And you need one quarter part dish soap. So I'm going to hand this to you. Uh, and this is where the tornado machine comes in. Now, it's highly recommended in the instructions that I was reading that you need to turn your tornado machine up to a class five tornado. Uh, you know, four could be thorough enough, but uh, five will definitely get your ingredients mixed up. So could you turn that all the way up to a, a class five tornado? Okay. And at this point, you need to let this blend like this 
for four hours. So uh, we're gonna walk away um, and let this. Have the most batteries. Well, we're gonna have to replace the batteries multiple times. We've done this in the past, and especially doing these these small batches, it actually took about three days uh, with several dozen battery changes each day to get the whole thing blended up to where it needed to be. One other thing that I wanted to mention is that uh, this wash has to be applied, actually I'm going to turn this off for now so you can hear me, this wash needs to be applied on a certain day of the year and that is today on April 1st. A mixture like this will only be effective on April 1st uh, so make sure that you do this on April 1st. Like I said, it took me three days to do this prior. And is there anyone even watching this video anymore? <laughs> I could just go on and on. Um, obviously, you know, April Fools. <laughs> ah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Solar panels are still great though, but just during the day. Um, is, let's turn it back on. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.